Sailor Moon is a popular anime and manga, and probably the most popular shoujo story from the 90s. But what you didn't know is how sexist Moon promotes patriarchy and marches over women with misogyny. In this video, I'll be exposing sexist Moon and the author's internalized misogyny. Let's start with the setting. The main characters are capable of turning into magical girls. Why does it have to specify that they're girls? That's sexist, which means the entire genre of magic girls is sexist. Most of the main characters wear Sarafuku in their regular life. Because Sarafuku are associated with women, this is sexist. In their sailor senshi forms, their skirts are incredibly short, revealing a lot of bare legs, and sometimes bare booty. All of the senshi names are based on stars, which is sexist because horoscopes and star signs are associated with women. The characters get their powers from Luna and Artemis, two cats. Women plus cats is a sexist connection. Now, each of the characters, starting with the protagonist. Usagi's name literally translates to bunny, and because women and bunnies have a history in the patriarchy, this is sexist. Her personality is that of a crybaby, which is a sexist commentary on women. She's defined by her obsession with Tuxedo Mask, a male character who she's the love interest for. So she's also reduced to a love interest. Great. Her civilian uniform shows off her midriff, which is objectifying. She uses the silver crystal to heal, revive, and purify others. Women healing is sexist. Her transformation command is Moon Prism Power Makeup. Makeup? Really? Misogynist. <laughs> she uses she uses a transformation brooch for this. It's a brooch because it's feminine. She has a disguise pen that can put her in feminine objectifying outfits. Her first attack, Supersonic Waves, is based on her crying. Her next signature attack is her throwing her tiara. Not a crown, but a tiara, because she's a woman. She has a healing move called Healing Escalation. Then Spiral Heart Attack has a heart motif because hearts are feminine. Sexist. Rainbow Moon Heartache has a rainbow theme. She has three different moves that end in kiss because women are only allowed to be lovers. She also has no character development. Next, Ami. Ami is shy because that's feminine. She also has the makeup phrase. All of the rest do, so that critique will just carry on, just like the patriarchy. Her abilities are based on water, which is sexist. TV Tropes has a page called Water is Feminine that goes into more details. She also has no character development. Next is Rei. Her job is being a shrine priestess, which is a stereotypical feminine job. She uses fire-based abilities, and fire is often used to represent lust. This is sexist. TV Trope's page, Fiery Sensuality, covers this. She also uses arrows, which follows another sexist trope, Guys Smash, Girls Shoot. She also has a snake attack, which is sexist because of snakes' association with women like Medusa. She also has no character development. Next is Makoto. Her civilian uniform shows her midriff, which is objectifying. Her personality is kind and gentle, which is feminine and sexist. She likes baking and gardening, two feminine hobbies. She dreams of marriage and desires romance because women are only allowed to be lovers. Her first attack is Flower Hurricane. Flowers and females are sexist. Her weapons <laughs> her weapons include a tiara, rose earrings, and a rose belt. I already covered the tiara, but why does she have to have a rose theme? Sexist. She also has no character development. The last of the main five is Minako. Her last name is Aino. I means love. Women are only allowed to be lovers. Her first name means beautiful child. Women are only allowed to care about their appearance. Her civilian uniform shows her midriff, which is objectifying. Her Sailor V outfit does this too. She likes chasing idols, which is sexist. She's also obsessed with romance because women can only be lovers. Her element is light, and light is feminine. Hopefully by now, you can see the sexism in the attack names. Love Me Chain, rolling Heart Vibration, Wink Chain Sword, Love and Beauty Shock, Love and Galactica Shock, Love Crescent Shower, Whip of Love. All of these are sexist. Women using whips- <laughs> Women using whips as a weapon is sexist. She also has no character development. Can't forget how Tuxedo Mask, the white savior, constantly swoops in to save the helpless women. And don't try to mansplain to me about how this isn't sexist, because I know 90% of you are male, so your opinion doesn't count. In conclusion, Sailor Moon has sexist designs, sexist symbolism, and sexist powers. The story is lucky that I only completed the first arc, because I'm sure that if I'd read more, there'd be more sexism down the line. What's worse is that the story is written by women, about women, made for women, yet misogyny runs rampant through its veins. The patriarchy is too strong and has poisoned female writers with internalized misogyny. Stay woke.